Hey, my beautiful Aquarian musicians, thank you so much for stopping by. Guys, I'm here to do your music reading for December 2023 to January 24. And I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm recording this in November, so uh, I will be doing weeklies um, after this date. So uh, Merry Christmas if uh, you guys don't stop by and wishing you all the best for 2024 and thanking you for subscribing all the likes, all the comments. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, um, whether I've resonated with the readings with you or, you know, uh, you keep coming back because I'm picking up on your energy. So thank you so much. Now, uh, we have the new moon in Sagittarius on the 12th of December, guys. So this new moon in Sagittarius is a great time you know, for big ideas, big projects, new new ventures that's going to expand your life in new ways. So being optimistic can be high. But with the next day, the turn of events uh, can pause things very quickly. Um, so you may just want to focus on something that you can accomplish quickly. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because Mercury retrograde begins in Capricorn on the 13th so you know the feeling of um, things slowing down blockages um, you know it can make you feel like you're going backwards or just experiencing delays with your pursuits of your goals so you may need to pick back up old goals that you had something that you can do quickly and have patience with the new ones now I'm have the beautiful moon as I always do representing all my artists and um, we're going to take a look at the Lenormand cards so we're going to look at what you put into your music and what's fallen out for you guys is the bear so the bear is you having the power and strength you putting your power your strength into your music you know, perhaps some of you manage whatever outfit you're in. You take care of the investments, income, fl cash flow, and you're possibly the head of the group. Now, the bear is a leadership role. He was very powerful and has, uh, had enough life experience to stand out as an authority figure. Now, what inspires your best work? And we have the bouquet, so it's a nice card to get. You know, having harmony within the work environment inspires you greatly. You know, having colleagues on the same page or your bandmates in tune with this is clear that everyone deals with difficulties and obstacles that appears ahead. So knowing the exact moment to act inspires your best work. What your music inspires in others, Aquarius, is the house. So they love that, you know... Things that go on behind your closed doors. I love the stability of your career because you've been at it so long. You know, having a home-based business or a family-owned business, that's what inspires them. You know where to walk in life. Now, you have a message from your muse, so it's either passed on loved one, ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels, spirit himself, but the message is aside, so... It's telling you to be vigilant. Remain vigilant. You could, you know, be unexpectedly cut from a job or a project. And this is where that um, uh, the new moon in Sagittarius is coming up, you know, um, and Mercury going backwards. So, you know, you've just got to um, be vigilant. It's a warning about your company that something could be cut off. Now, it could be just a new project that you're wanting to do. You know, maybe just that the pressure's on with all your skills and talents at this point of time. Now, what I'm feeling from that, and what I was feeling when I shuffled the cards, is, um, you know, that you have a, a powerful reputation, Aquarius, and this reputation's for all your hard work, and I do feel like you're going to dominate your industry and your surroundings. You're definitely being influenced by your comfort levels. 
and family. Now this is blood family or chosen family, whatever it is in your situation. But you are being warned not to trust authority figures. You know, this could be management or someone in a music department that's high up. This is something or someone who hurts your power and strength in some way. Now, under the deck, we have the garden and the bear. So, you know, garden social networking, uh, you know, and having a large following online with a bird. So you are possibly discussing how you're perceived by friends, by family and society. Now, it could be about being cut off, but it might be just in general how much of a following you have. Now, we'll move on to the fairy forest, and what's come out for you is Frigga. Frigga's um, number 12. It's about being ready, readiness, having your bounty come in and having plenty. So it's signifying, um, let's pop it back here, you know, growth, success. You're being inspired and you're being independent at the same time. So it's indicative of the realisation of your goals and the launching of new ventures. So this is maybe where you got cut off. Now, number the number one in the, um, the 12 is telling you that all human beings are linked to one another by their thoughts, by their feelings, and you should concentrate on your ambitions with optimism to achieve them. Because there's no place for negative thoughts and doubts if you have to succeed in life or your music. Self-belief and confidence in divine forces will help you uh, execute ambitious projects with ease. So the number two delves into the deeper things like uh, the real meaning and the intention of your existence itself. So it represents your qualities of compassion uh, self-sacrifices that you make, how flexible you are, and uh, enterprise, associations, and tact are the other traits. Okay, so angel number two is urging you to believe in the mystic forces to achieve your objectives through support is not evident. You should not throw in the towel when faced with these obstacles that come up or delays, or the pressure that's coming. And, uh, you know, you have to be persistent to accomplish your ambitions. It's the utmost importance that you serve the fellow beings with sympathy and selflessness. And the angel 12, meaning, shows that you should be obliging, devoted, and kind in your attitude towards others. So maybe you've been a little bit harsh with the scythe. You know, been a little bit harsh. That's someone who's very angry. And, uh, you know, you're being pushed to lead your life in a meaningful way. Now you've got the beautiful Ten of Summer from the Animal Tarot. And it states here, it's a time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or chosen family, just like I said before. Or close friends, congratulations may be in order in a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising a happy, balanced children. So you've got the rainbow there. Beautiful. So this is your chosen family, your chosen family and musicians. And it's all about abundance as well, happiness, emotional fulfillment coming for you. And this card does represent a sense of harmony and contentment that is rooted in family, that is rooted in community. And it's signifying a time when you're going to be surrounded by those um, that love you and who love you in return or that you love. You know, the Ten of Cups suggests a period of joy and celebration and your emotional needs will be met and you're going to feel at peace and complete. Okay? Now, the... Uh, we have Jupiter, this beautiful planet here, on the 30th going direct in Taurus. So it ends the retrograde in Taurus, which means you can get more opportunities to improve your finances 
have better resources, improve your stability and security, and be more confident. And you're going to be able to focus on more action instead of being so introspective, going within all the time. Though this is not going to kick until, uh, say, Mercury retrograde ends January the 1st. So it could be two weeks before, two weeks after. But here's that sense of security. This is in coming up in your future. So what a beautiful reading for you, Aquarius. Um, wishing you all the very best and uh, please stay safe. Have loads of uh, quality time with family and friends over the Christmas break. And look forward to that 2024 great new year for you guys. Love to you all. Bye for now.